Hello, it's, uh, I'm Adrian Crawford. It's Welcome to Walkabout Wednesday. I'm here today with my accomplice, Harry, Hello. who, as you know, I am trying to educate <laughs> and explain the ways of Williams Crawford to him. And uh, today, he asked me a really good question. Yeah, so a lot of the cars in here are awaiting inspection or reserved or sold. So just wondering, obviously in a few days, our showroom's gonna look quite empty once they're all gone. So how's that <laughs> happened? Well, I'm planning on trying to keep him employed. So um, we've 14 of our cars here are all sold and waiting to go out. And the job is always to replace them and we've got a couple things really first of all when we're replacing them it's not a willy-nilly experience yeah. um, often people say oh do you buy at auctions and one thing or another where do you get your cars from and actually i've been doing this for over 30 years so most of the cars come to us yeah i don't like and very 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 seldom would i buy a car at auction because I want to understand the car, I want to be able to inspect it, I want to be able to speak to the owner and actually hear what's been happening yeah. to it. Yeah. When you're buying at auction or you're buying essentially sight off unseen off shiny pictures and it's a much higher risk strategy yeah. and uh, I can take the risk because we've got all of this, but the reality is that we make money buying and selling, so we have a margin in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's very easy, or relatively easy, <laughs> to actually um, make, a, make a profit, but it's harder to hold on to yeah. it. Yeah. When we sell our cars, the vast majority of them are sold with our own guarantee. Mm -hmm. And that's different to most other places. Yeah, yeah. Um, most places have a mechanical breakdown insurance policy that they employ. It's just an insurance policy that a dealer buys. And the contract then really is between the owner and the warranty provider. Mm. The difficulty is that the warranty provider doesn't want to provide anything. They want to hold on yeah. to, to, to their, their profit too. Here, we do it differently. We guarantee our cars ourselves. So that means, Ari, if a gent goes and buys a 993, a nice 993, mm -hmm. a full retail car, and the gearbox fails in the first six months, which I never do, but you know, things like yeah. that happen. The implication is that that, that could cost two, four, six yeah. thousand pounds. Yeah. And we will scoop up that responsibility with the minimum stress to the buyer. So going back to it's easy to make a profit, well not that easy, and, don't do it for yourself, folks, because <laughs> um, it's taken us ages to do it. It's easy to make a profit, but it's really easy to lose it when things go wrong. So mm -hmm. the deal is, I want to have a really good understanding of the cars that we buy, and that means I'm at less risk, or the business is at less risk from things going wrong. Yeah. And if that's the case, then also you, the customer, is at less risk because yeah. we've got all this, all the experience, all the tax, and we really ought to know what, what is going on yeah. with the car. And um, if it's good for us, it should be good for you. Mm -hmm. So cars come to us, we don't go out and go picking them off at auction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So people will typically be phoning us as saying that they've got a Porsche or sometimes prestige car that they want to they want to sell mm -hmm. and um, Do you know the different ways that the, that we deal with that? I've heard of the different types so brokerage and consignment But I'll be honest. I don't actually know what the difference is between yeah. the two. Okay, so, so um, We really do one of four things 
One is that we reject them quite quickly yeah. because we <laughs> ask a load of questions. And part of your job is, if you get an inquiry, is to do what we call inside qualification, yeah. find out whether the car seems to have the background that we want to move it to the next stage. Then we do a system called car assignment, whereby essentially we want to um, find the best solution for the customer. Mm -hmm. That might be buying it outright. Yep. That's one solution, that's traditional, that's what yeah. we do. Yeah. We just write a check and buy it. Um, or it could be brokerage or consignment. Um, both of which are a form of sale or return. Right. Brokerage is typically um, a percentage or a fixed fee-based sale. So let's say that you came along with your lovely um, uh, Carrera GTS mm -hmm. and um, we agreed that we would return you £50,000 and charge you a percentage um, on top of that or we will um, charge a fixed fee on top of that. Yeah. That is essentially brokerage. The buyer has all the um, uh, benefits of coming here, but essentially buying it directly yeah, from, from, the, person, from, yeah. the, from the seller, yeah. but with, with a lot of support from us. Yeah. It's just the same as you do if you had a house, mm -hmm. um, or if you were selling a big boat, it's, yeah. it's a brokerage model. Um, consignment is a different thing. That's really where you come with your Carrera GTS and say, I want 50,000 pound. We think, yeah, we can make a profit over and above that. And um, we'll advertise it at whatever we think is the right number. Mm -hmm. And we take the profit in between. And that might be the full profit or we might have someone turn up the very next day and say I'll pay you a little profit over over the price that um, and we can make that judgment yeah consignments great because it enables us that if a customer came into a show into the showroom and wanted to buy it there and then and there was some negotiation involved, mm -hmm. we can make a decision. Yeah. We can make an yeah. immediate decision, say yes, yeah, shake his hand and send him out the door rather than be going to and fro with the buyer yeah. saying no, um, with the seller saying, we've got a buyer and he's yeah. offered, you know, 5p <laughs> less, are you okay with 5p yeah. and, and, and that type of thing. Yeah. So the consignment is a good model in that case. So why do people do um, go for consignment or brokerage and not buying? Mm, probably because they know that they'll get a bit more out of it. Yeah, that's it. They are. Yeah. Um, we can return a higher figure than you might get if you were just simply selling it to a dealer. Yeah. yeah. Um, because a dealer is going to have to outlay the money, run the risk that it'll take a week, or a year to sell, mm -hmm. and therefore the longer period of time it takes to sell, the higher the margin we really want. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it's consignment or brokerage, the, the ownership stays with the, with the owner of the car, yeah. we're not laying out anything apart from all the checking and the inspection and the marketing costs. Mm -hmm. So. Um, we've got less risk, we need less profit out of it. Yeah. And that, that's, that's what we do. That's, that's um, one of the three things that we can do to fill the showroom. It works really <laughs> well. And um, I think we've got in the next seven days, is there something like eight or nine or 10 coming? I think it's six, exactly six. Six coming, but yeah. I think there's another four following it. Yeah. So yeah. Next, we've got yeah. a whole influx of, <laughs> of um, new, new stock and um, and we'll go through the same process, put it out on show, and Harry will be part of the <laughs> team that um, that markets it, yeah. and that's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for watching our little bit of educating Harry once more, <laughs> and an insight into how we go about um, finding the stock and what we do for the clients. And uh, if you. Um, are interested in uh, selling your 
Porsche or Prestige car, give us a call and we'll talk you through it and see if we can help. So that's it from me and Harry Thank you. at Williams Crawford, Fashion for Porsche.